Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about that 2021 hair trend using the hair waver. I feel like I've been seeing it everywhere. Everyone is trying to do a wavy, beachy, PC textured hairstyle and I am here for it. Although I do have a couple tips and tricks of my own. So if you guys wanna see how I went from this to this, just keep on watching. First off, I put in two rows of extensions. I'm wearing Luxie hair, nothing new there. It's like the only extensions I ever wear. This is the shade Blonde Balayage. So it's a mix of Dirty Blonde and Ash Blonde, I believe. And it worked. It surprisingly worked with uh, the highlights I put in my hair. So happy about that. They're not like perfect, but it's just adding length because I did this crimping or waving technique when I first got the waver. And I felt like, my hair is pretty long, like you can see my hair is right here, but it just needed a little bit of extra length. So let's get started. I'm gonna part my hair just across the bottom. So we're gonna work with the bottom section first. We have the Beauty Works Molly May Collab Waver. It's so pretty. The color is just, love it. Ah, don't know what that was. <laughs> we're gonna literally go in and start old school crimp waving our hair. I don't like to take massive sections of hair only because I feel like all the hair doesn't really get enough heat so it doesn't really work as well. So just a decent amount and I'm not going straight at my roots. That was my number one problem when I first tried this out. I went like right to my roots and it was, it was a bit intense. So I'm gonna start about an inch or two below my roots. Keep it on that section lift and then go down to that last little crimp we made go again i keep saying crimp and i know it's called a waver but i'm just so used to saying a crimper because that was like what we had but i'll try my I'll try my best to say waver so hopefully i don't annoy anyone <laughs> it definitely has a nice wave to it it's not as tight as a crimper would be like crimpers were like super tight little ridges in between this technique using this waver is really important to use at the bottom section of your hair because it's going to really create a lot of volume and i just think it looks a lot better when it comes closer to the top of our head we're going to try something else out because i didn't find it looked exactly like this on the top of my hair because i have layers and thinner pieces so Maybe if you have thick hair all around, you can get away with it, but just just trust me, trust the process. Also, whenever I put a picture of using this for the first time on my Instagram, I had a couple people message me saying, isn't it the same thing as you just braiding your hair damp and then sleeping in it? And yes, you definitely have a waved effect, but I feel like anytime I do that, nine times out of 10, not wearable. <laughs> like there's the rare time that I take it out of like braids or twists and I'm like, oh my goodness, like those heatless wave braids or whatever really work today. But then there's so many times that I'm just like, okay, it's gonna be a hair up situation because it's just not, it's not consistent enough for me. My hair it would be quite thick, but it really tapers at the ends. And I feel like that's where it can, really go wrong for me like if it's a nice wave at top it goes like super tight and kinky wave at the bottom and it's just not cute so this keeps it really consistent because obviously it's the same size barrel all the way down okay we have one side done let me back here so you can see obviously you still have your length because a proper ringlet curl always lifts a little bit of length in your hair but this way you still have movement and texture but you also have length as well. I feel like just a little bit of an extension and honestly it's what like three inches longer than my hair, not even two inches. And it really does just, I feel like it really helps this whole look turn out a little bit better, in my opinion at least. Oh, here's my favorite mailman. He's like the nicest ever. He has really good calves too because he walks everywhere. Another tip is keeping the waver on the top section of your hair a little bit longer than the ends because naturally most hair does taper like i've mentioned 500 times before <laughs> but obviously you can tell like how much thinner my hair at the ends is compared to my root so i need a little bit more heat right at the top and then i kind of lessen it as i go down oh no i gave my heart away went a bit too far
is layer one complete. The whole bottom layer, I always like to use the waver just so then it gives a little bit of movement. It definitely thickens it out doing this. Using the waver really will thicken out your hair. I definitely found like it almost doubled the thickness of my hair. But what I'm gonna do now from basically this whole section forward, moving forward is adding in a tong, a wand, you can use a curling iron, just something that you're gonna create a little bit more of a beachy wave rather than a beachy crimpy wave. <laughs> like more of a barreled wave rather than a, you know, back and forth wave. We're just, I'm just gonna show you rather than talking about it and not making sense. So this one is from InStyler. I would have used my T3 inch, but it was just, this is just a tiny bit smaller. This is like three quarters of an inch. So it's just a little bit more, it's a little bit just preferred for this specific style. I'm still gonna use the waver, but we're gonna move back and forth. I'm gonna take my trusty hairspray, the Kevin Murphy Session Spray at Flex. This is the best hairspray. It's like my third bottle of this stuff. Absolutely love it. It keeps your style in place without making it feel like hard and crunchy. And it smells super good too. So we have one layer of extension on this side and one layer of extension on this side. I'm gonna use the waver first. Again, not starting right at the root. Good wave. This look calls for some extra love, but it will last long because the more you wear it, sleep on it, I feel like it just adds to that textured look. So just put a little bit of extra love the first time you do it and hopefully it just is a look that keeps giving back. I always pull it because I don't want it to spring up because the waves that we're doing with the waver don't necessarily shorten my hair. This type of curl can, so the way to avoid that is to pull it right after you used heat. So as you can see, it's a nice wave, but it has a little bit of a different movement. Also, when you're using a wand, you can start a little bit closer to the root of your hair because it's not gonna crimp it weird. The waver tends to give a little bit of an indent that is not welcomed. <laughs> front section I'm just gonna use the wand because I always think around your face everything that goes away just looks a little bit softer but if you do have all the same length hair and quite thick hair in the front of your face then keep going on with this like it is pretty but I just feel like my hair just is too thin for the front of my face especially with postpartum there's like gapping and new growth it just I think personally 100 times better. It's not so uniform and too much of one type of curl. I really prefer that. So we're gonna play around with everything at the end, but first a little bit of hairspray and do the exact same thing we did on this side over on this side. Okay, both sides are pretty much done. I'm happy with how they both are turning out. I want it to look and feel a bit piecier. Um, I'm gonna take this Living Proof Frizz Vanishing Oil and just run my fingers through it. It's not gonna make my hair feel greasy at all, but it's just gonna, you know, finish my hair. Because we want it a little bit piecier, it's gonna help separate 
um, it also eliminates any flyaways, any frizz, and it just kind of finishes off the look, which is exactly what we need. Okay, this is the final look. It's the way I probably and will continue to wave my hair with the waver, and I just feel like it just looks a little bit more a little bit more finished to my liking. Obviously do what suits you. It's a fun way to mix up your waves and your curls together. It's definitely the trend of 2021 to do a nice crimpy wave in your hair. So give it a try. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to leave me video suggestions in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.